Okay, another heat flow mechanism is convection. Now the formulas governing convection are very complicated and beyond the scope of this course, but you need to just be aware that convection occurs. How it happens is imagine this radiator down here. Now that's heating the air around it. As we heat air, it becomes less dense and expands. If the air is less dense than the surrounding cold air, then it will float to the top. So in a house here, you've got the hot air floating to the top. It then hits the roof where it's reflected off and you get these convection currents generated. As, as it is in thermal contact with the surrounding air, as it undergoes this path, it will lose some energy and so it will become cold again by the time it gets back to the radiator. So we get convection currents formed this way. So what I have here is a demonstration to show you convection. So this is a fish tank full of cold water and what I've got here is a little vial full of food dye that's been sitting in some hot water. I'm going to top this up with hot water and then put it down the bottom of the cold fish tank. Have a quick think about what you think is going to happen when, that, when I put it in. Okay, this is very hot, so I'm going to put it in as quickly as I can. Okay, so you can watch what the hot food dye is doing now as it leaves that little vial. So hopefully you're able to see it coming up. Now in this case, we're not getting convection currents continuing because I'm not providing a continuous supply of heat. We just heated that vial once and we're not heating it from below. But you can see that because the contents of the vial is less dense, because it's hot, it's moving up in the cold water of, of the fish tank.